It's time for the visit with the person of high strangeness. Uh, today we're going to um, do so an aura photography. And uh, one of the reasons that we, I've picked this particular time is because um, Dr. Tuesday Lapsing Wampa, he died 20 years ago and we thought that um, maybe we should acknowledge that. Um, I think we had touched on it last week, but some of the friends thought that was really nice. So we picked this particular time to give you a um, a visual understanding of our photos and um, from what I understand uh, there's quite a history with that and Dr. Wampa uh, one of the things he wanted to do in his lifetime um, was to develop a device that uh, where we could diagnose illnesses with um, auras and of course he was able to do that um, uh, etherically and um, I not sure if he lived to um, see the day when at least we were able to capture something. And so there's a lot of going on today here. Uh, you probably have noises you're not familiar with. I have a model sitting uh, in the corner. We're going to use her to do photography later. And I need to ask the, uh, Sue, do you have a headache and are you okay? You're fine, okay. Uh, for a minute I thought Sue was hot or something. Well, anyway, uh, I haven't said all this. If you hear noises, things are different today, and uh, that's how it is. So in the meantime, I'm going to reintroduce you to Cynthia Morgan. Hi. Hello, Hi. Cynthia. How are you? I'm doing very well today. It's been a whole week, huh? Yes, it was a lot nicer drive this week than it was last. I wasn't as hurried this time. And we had winter, spring, and summer. Well, what the sun I has been all shining. Everything <laughs> all in one mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And you brought a friend with you today? Well, this is one of my partners. This mm -hmm. is my partner, Jug. He also happens to be my life partner. Mm -hmm. And um, my other partner, Jill Lambert, who owns the camera. Mm -hmm. She's not able to be here with us because she has laryngitis. So That's a good reason mm -hmm. not to be here. Well, there's know. been this awful creepy crud flu, which yeah. we talked about. And both he and I had it, and mm -hmm. she now has it and you were just getting over it as well. No, I don't have a bug. I have a permanent obstruction oh, that's in my right. throat. Okay. And, and I, I, oh, hey, that gives me an opening to finally explain this. Because, um, years ago, I had surgery in my throat and um, in other places, and it was right about the time, I think, when the doctors discovered that it's a lot easier to staple a person and so what happened is I had some surgery in my throat and the doctor was so happy that he was done and that I came through it with flying color. He just randomly stapled my neck together. Little did he know that 25 years later it was going to be a problem. And so what happens is when you have random staples and you know you get little as, as extras around there mm -hmm. and so I have too many things in my neck but you can't reopen the neck because it's just too fish when they come up for air like that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I have this involuntary cough so I can breathe. Breathe. Yeah, that's a good word for it. <laughs> yeah. And so anyway, okay. that's when I keep making reference to the obstructions. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And um, uh, we know a lot more about staples now than we did. I remember when they first started using mm -hmm. them. I thought it was very interesting when I had a surgery that mm -hmm. I'd had staples. Mm -hmm. Like me, we beep at the airport. Oh. Uh, we beep <laughs> when we go to penitentiaries or any other place. And um, what I found real important was I needed to have an MRI done here not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the doctor at the emergency room took x-rays of both the neck and my lower region here. Mm -hmm. And I asked him why he did that, and he said, people that have metal or staples in their body are not candidates for MRIs. Really? Because of the metal, you know, you're laying in this magnetic right. field there. Um, and uh, he had read my book, so he knew I had staples in my body. And speaking of magnetic fields, um, mm -hmm. so if you have staples, tell the doctor before you get an MRI. and. I understand that the photography that you do and you are with Heart Vision Events. That's the name of your business. It's Heart Vision Aura Photography. 
that oh, I oh, gave you I'm, a schedule of our events that are upcoming. I'm a dimension ahead of everybody already. That's good. Absolutely okay. right. And, and so, are there magnetic fields involved? Or would you be nice enough to explain our well, photography to us? Or our camera is based upon that it picks up and reproduces the electromagnetic mm -hmm. energy around your body. Mm -hmm. Or um, we can also call it your vibratory force field. Mm -hmm. And what it's doing is it's giving you a biofeedback mm -hmm. of what you're actually experiencing and expressing at that current time. Mm -hmm. um, it is, a, my mother, we used to talk about it, that it's a cousin or it's related to Carillion photography. That's right. And Carillion photography was developed by a Russian years mm -hmm. ago. And it originally they had anticipated being able to use it for medicinal purposes. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So did Dr. Avanta. Mm -hmm. Right. And what was discovered, and I'll explain this because perhaps some of your viewers don't mm -hmm. know what Carillion photography what N yeah, please. What happened is that um, sometimes patients would come into the doctor who had had an amputated um, mm -hmm. limb and they complained and they made comments about um, pain pain mm -hmm. on this area on this limb that was missing and it was disregarded mm -hmm. and uh, there wasn't a lot of validity put to it well this um, development with the Carillion what they, how they, my first image that I had ever seen of it was with a plant leaf. Mm -hmm. And a plant leaf, which was very interesting, it had been cut off. And they put it on the film surface. The interesting thing was, is the real part of the plant was there. But the image mm -hmm. of the missing cut piece there. was there, clearly visible. There was no trick photography to it at all. It was repeated, repeat, over and over. And it was, it had gone on to be developed even further than that. Um, and so the gentleman that, and going into what our camera does is, when I first um, started dealing with aura photography, um, we had a little carillion, what we would call then is a little carillion. It mm -hmm. was fingertip. And you actually put your hand, there was just a little box that had the camera on it. Mm -hmm. And you would put your finger, your hand there, and it would photograph your finger, your finger fingertips. Tips. Yes, um, we actually had some experiences with that uh, last year at the at the expo. Dr. Kennedy mm -hmm. had uh, something like that. So some of the friends are familiar with that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, Jill Lambert, who is my other partner, she has a, a little fingertip mm -hmm. carillion, and when my mother and I used to first start reading them. That was how we started doing it, was mm -hmm. we read fingertips. What we found interesting, now they weren't in color. Mm -hmm. they, but just you blue, could, no? Yeah, they were mm -hmm. just blue. Yeah. And you could see an energy <coughs> force field around them. Right. But we found really interesting is oftentimes couples would come up and they would put their fingers next to each mm -hmm. other, pointing at each other. And you could see how their energy and the lights, they would spike towards each other. Mm -hmm. Well then, we had an experiment where we had them kiss. And mm -hmm. that was really neat because their fingertip energy just fused all together and it mm -hmm. just exploded on there. And um, then uh, my uh, person that we purchased a camera from, mm -hmm. he developed it with putting color with it. Mm -hmm. Now I don't really know how all of that really comes together. Mm -hmm. Now, from what I understand, and I had, actually, I had a clip. I went to Ocean Shores. That's a, a, a seaport town here in Washington State, towards the northern tip there. Um, they had computers that actually took the auras of all your chakras. Uh -huh. So, uh, do you know anything about that? I had a clip, and I couldn't find it. Um, can you, do you, would you happen to know a little bit about that? or? I do know, and Jug could probably talk a little bit more mm -hmm. about it because we've been reading about them on the internet. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, or, or no, I guess it was a couple weeks, but I can't remember exactly when we went to a psychic fair in the Tacoma, Washington area. And um, I wanted to have that experience. There's, it's a special <coughs> camera. It was the mm -hmm. 
Aura Star 2000. Yes, Aura yeah. Star 2000. The Aura Star 2000. And it has a big hand plate that has three different sizes. One's for a child, then mm -hmm. a medium, and then mm -hmm. a larger one. And it had a bunch of little probes. They were probably about a quarter mm -hmm. of an inch tall. And you had to put your hand down on it and press on it really firmly. And it did photograph your whole chakra the show, chakras, the yeah. whole body. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a picture of your actual face image. Now, right, yeah. It was just a, I think they call it a Davidian man or something uh, like that. Yeah, it was just the aura itself. It was not the picture. Of the exactly. Human. Now, the psychic fair that the friends are referring to here, that's the one we took you on. We took you to the Freight House Square. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we did. We took cameras along and took all the friends to the Freight House Square so they know where you went. Yes. How's that? Yes, I, in fact, we're going to be there again. We weren't at the last one, but we'll be there. Um, but I, I wanted to say, say something about the Aura Star 2000 or about any of the different types of things, Aura images or Aura photography that's out there. Um, I can't necessarily say that one is any better than another. They're all different. They're all different. They're that's, all different. That's right. But my, and then um, Jug did another Aura one there, which was called a win aura, and it was also done with the computer. Mm -hmm. So we tried the, th the different images. What we found interesting was is that they were hitting us right. When I use the word hit, I'm mm -hmm. talking about when in, in the psychic world we talk about that's a hit means that right. it was right. Mm -hmm. And um, they hit us right. Mm -hmm. um, because you always have a certain degree of hit and miss, yeah. but they were hitting us with um, the colors were right, what, mm -hmm. what we were experiencing and expressing and what was going on with our bodies and with mm -hmm. the chakras. Now, it, it, last week we told the story about the, the bowls, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the healing crystal bowls. And um, I had a, one taken with your uh, machines at that time right. when I had my, my three-week problem. <laughs> but it was at the very beginning. And do you know that you could actually see the headache? Now, it's another lady. Um, what's her name? Jill. Jill. My partner. Yes. Right. It was Jill that was there. And mm -hmm. she took it. And she says, look at your headache. And you could see that headache just coming out of my head up over it never went out because it did stick with me for three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we can pick up things. And she told me exactly what my problems was, mm -hmm. my physical problems at that day. Now, I want to ask you, um, what is it that they have you do? I take pictures. I am learning to interpret them. Mm -hmm. uh, I do readings in my own right that don't have anything to do with the mm -hmm. oral photography as well as practice healing. Mm -hmm. and, and do you find you can use ours in your healing work? Uh, it would be more, sp more, it would be better to say that yes, I can take the picture and know where the problem is closer mm -hmm. in looking at the picture than in trying to make a determination for feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, I understand that I do some medical intuitiveness, except mm -hmm. what it's showing me is like a, <coughs> excuse me, like a glass body with a light bulb, and it gives me the vicinity. Now, if I could get it light up in color, that would <laughs> I would be better off. Yeah. Um, because some of us, we do take on um, uh, like an empath. You, do, do you ever take on people's? Energies or vibrations. All the time. People's yeah. hurts and pains. All the time. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I think the main thing is to learn if it's yours or not. Mm -hmm. Is it your pain or not? It becomes your pain. Yeah, but if you, you accept it. If you accept it, but sometimes yeah. it's hard to tell it apart. And when you realize that it's not your pain, then you can, yeah, mm -hmm. you can work around that. Um, if you heard, I, we have a studio audience and they're laughing because. Uh, yeah, I have all kinds of stuff sometimes that's not mine. I, I want to interrupt you and interject something. This is a perfect opportunity for me to give a really good lesson to all of the viewers in regards to energy and vibrations and sensitivities, and especially those of us that are much more empathic and sensitive. Mm -hmm. 
I learned we all have meridians in mm -hmm. our body, our meridian points, and they are always they're in your fingertips mm -hmm. and they're in your feet. Mm -hmm. And I found out a long time ago, in order to help myself stay balanced and focused when I was around other people's energy, because you can very well know, Lillian, you can be around somebody and you can feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. or you pick up their vibrations. But in order to help yourself balance, and you'll notice, and I'm sure your viewers, once they're aware of this, they'll notice they do it without even being aware of it. If you will take the, make the simple act of crossing your ankles and crossing your hands, what that does is that closes those centers off mm -hmm. so you're not accepting or bringing in all of that energy. So you're not as susceptible. It doesn't mean that you can't still feel mm -hmm. it, but you're not open. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a big difference. And I noticed last week you sat with your ankles mm -hmm. crossed, and of course I do that. In fact, if I'm not sitting, mm -hmm. even if I'm in a room, oftentimes I'll be crossing my hands or I'll stand up against the wall and cross my ankles. It's not quite as effective as crossing your legs, mm -hmm. but it's still crossing your legs helps. So here, husbands, when your wife, when you, when you <laughs> talk to your wife, you know, very seriously, and she crosses her legs. <laughs> but what Does else can I you? say? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Oh, wow, this is, okay. this is pretty good. Um, before the show, we took pictures of um, some of our staff. Let's see, how about, um, can you tell us a little bit about Bernie? Bernie is our director. And uh, let's, maybe I should hold it. Should I hold it? Should I hold it? Okay, I'll hold it. And, okay. And she can talk about it. Well, the first thing that I notice, and of course, everybody interprets differently, mm -hmm. but I've been working with our camera. The first thing that I notice about him is he has an intense amount of red right around the neck and the shoulder areas here. Mm -hmm. And what I would sense about that is that Bernie may have been experiencing in the last couple of days some back or neck or shoulder discomfort. Now, it doesn't show it to me to be intense because it's not really bright. So he may have just slept wrong mm -hmm. and have had a little bit of a kink there. He also has a lot of green right here in the chest here. And I'm wondering if <clears throat> he's been experiencing some type of congestion or an indigestion problem because this is an indication that there's healing taking place within the body because it's in the lower area, which we use it for medicinal things. When I look at the upper portion of his aura around here, there's brilliant reds, and then there's yellow around here, and it's bright yellow that's streaming down into his upper part of his head. That gives me an indication that he has high mental activity. Bernie's probably a very spontaneous person, very mentally alert, probably has a lot of difficulty sometimes falling asleep because his brain is always going and thinking. I would suspect that he can do many things all at the same time, so he's very versatile. He also likes to do things, yellow also gives me an indication of, of, of um, high mental alertness, computers, logic, anything that has to do with stimulation. He likes something that makes him think. He's not one to sit around and be lazy in a slough. When I look, <laughs> hit it, Bernie, stay off the pizza and get you a new bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I see it looks like he has in, in here, this looks like there's little shapes of hearts yeah. in the yellow. Uh -huh. So I think that Bernie has some kind of passion in his life right now, whether it is in an emotional passion when a relationship or if it's something that he's really passionate about what it <laughs> is that he's doing. But that also shows to me this in this darker red because mm -hmm. it shows to me Somebody who is passionate, has an exuberance for life. Um, he's very strong-willed. He's probably opinionated, too. Now, I don't know that, but I would suspect that. When I look at the very top portion up here, and there's three little teeny little dots up there, that gives me, they're right 
right up here. You can, there, my, and I don't know if your camera can pick mm -hmm. them up. Yeah, yes, I it see can. It. Mm -hmm. That tells me that Bernie has spirit guides. Mm -hmm. We all do have spirit guides. Mm -hmm. And I have to inform people of this because sometimes they say, oh, my spirit guide didn't show up. That doesn't mean that they're not there. Yeah, they're busy somewhere they're, else. That's right. Yeah. And for some of us, it's important for us to have that validity then. Mm -hmm. So right now, he definitely has these spirit guides that are around him communicating mm -hmm. with him. Bernie also is a person who has a high amount of intense energy around him today. Mm -hmm. He so does. He's there you go, really, Bernie. I feel like he's just like buzz. For the friends that know you, if that wasn't perfect, <laughs> if you wasn't, you know, if you wasn't the director, I, I would ask you to come out here and verify every little thing. So, <laughs> but that's about as close as we're going to get with Bernie for mm -hmm. the day. Now, the next one, I'm going to put him down. Can okay. you give me? This would be Cliff, our camera person. Well, and of course, I'm going to point it out to you right away about Cliff, too. We also see Cliff's little guides. He has two of them. They're very predominant around him. Cliff <clears throat> has an intense amount of red that's coming down here on his shoulder and his body and I would think that he's been having some back discomfort or something with his spine because um, there's some green energy that comes over here. It shows me some healing energy that's coming in because this is what he's going to be experiencing. Cliff is a very peaceful and loving person. We see this in this little bit of blue. He likes to speak words of truth. I bet I bet that you like the women. <laughs> he said he, that he, might be true. Okay. He, he knows how to schmooze. <laughs> um, and I also see an incredible amount of yellow. Again, this shows to me spontaneity, computers, logic. He likes to think. Cliff likes to read. He likes to be on the go. He likes to be busy. Um, I would also suspect that you probably like music, you know. Yes, because I just feel that. Now, I want to show you within this, there's a big hue of white. What I'm looking at that is showing to me that you're motivated right now for some new growth and some new changes. You know, so there's a lot of Repeats. new things taking place for you. That, that was a personal joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that gives me, that shows that there's purity, mm -hmm. spiritual truth, and he's highly motivated right now on a new pathway, some new growth. And I see some red that's entering in. And this red is up here showing with these little bits of green. Cliff has a tendency sometimes to analyze things a little bit too much. So he wants things to be his way. And Everybody's <laughs> nodding their head in the studio <laughs> audience. So he's sort of learning to let go of some of that. Mm -hmm. But he's been experiencing some frustration with himself because it's not happening as fast as he wants. Impatient. In yes. Impatient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? This this oh, this was incredible. We should have some fun next time I see you at a fair, just for the fun of it. Let's. Uh, I'll send you some people I did readings for. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and vice versa. I tape all of mine, and that was pretty. Well, and I want to show you. And, and sometimes we can uh, go back and forth like that. This is one that mm -hmm. I didn't get one. No. So. Well, you oh. will make sure you get one before you leave. This is one that they did of me this morning before we started filming. And all of the colors have lots of meanings, but I, I don't usually like to interpret my own photo. Um, but mm -hmm. I know exactly what's going on here. I was experiencing a lot of frustration, and, or not a frustration. Um, anxiety. 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 Yeah. We yes. all have anxiety. I have experienced a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Now, when the red, to me, because I've had so much experience in reading ours, when it's sitting on the body, Mm -hmm. That tells me that it's something that's internally, something that's happening. And it's not only is it sitting on the body, but it's all around my head. So I was, mm -hmm. I was intense. I was nervous. And I'd been thinking about this for a couple of days, about coming and talking about it. So I was oh, nervous. <clears throat> I um, have a lot of frustration here in my throat because mm -hmm. you can see my cold still. So there's the red that's in my throat here. But... This is what my love little thing is. I went outside and I went for a little walk. And as I told you last week, my mother had recently passed away and she'd mm -hmm. been my strength. And I had asked for her guidance. And at the top oh. here, 
Bottom of my my crown chakra is completely open and there's all this blue and I asked her to please be here with me. And my indication of it is there's this round little circle right here of this little orange light. And when I saw that, tears whelmed over in me and Jill mm -hmm. and I both knew that it was my mother's presence here um, communicating and letting me know that I was doing just fine. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I think what we would like to do now is, uh, is our friend Sue has been sitting over there very, very patiently. So I would like for you to go over there and, and demonstrate to us how we do this. Now, I would like to remind you, you are miked. Right. And you should have enough rope to hang yourself if you mm -hmm. so choose. <laughs> I um, won't do that. I will be very careful. And so if you could maybe try to do that. And in the Make meantime, while, while everybody is setting up to do this, I'm, how about if I read, um, if I give you some information here. And what that consists of is to let you know where the friends are going to be taking photographs here uh, for most of the summer. And um, these are the events. Okay. March 8th. In Tacoma, Washington at the Freight House Square, March 10th in Kent, Washington at the Boeing Psychic Fair, April 7, 8 in Portland, Oregon at the Montgomery Park, April 28 and 29 in Spokane, Washington at a Psychic Fair, May 19 and 20th in Bend, Oregon Psychic Fair, June 2 and 3 Seattle, Washington at the Seattle Center, June 16 and 17, Boise, Idaho, at a psychic fair. And uh, then, of course, if you didn't get all that, you can contact the show, and or the email is listed at the end of the show. And, um, and if you can't wait for that, well, let's all get together and have a party here. And as soon as I'm told that we all settled uh, to do that, hmm? So uh, you are just, we ready now? I don't know. I'm waiting for the cue here, but that's okay. We can talk. <coughs> I had an hour of photo somewhere in my stack of goodies in the back here, and things are moving again. The curtains are moving again. That happens sometimes. But I when we have that spirits, too. Uh, spirits mm -hmm. present. Uh huh. So well, you'll have to make sure when we're up here at Freight House Square in Tacoma on March 8th, mm -hmm. Lillian, if it's on a Thursday, if you're available to come and I'll give you a photo. I'd love to do that for you. I might want to do that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, now I see we all set up. Okay. To do the, to I'm going to explain photos. to you what we're doing. Mm -hmm. This is Sue from the audience. And Sue has graciously volunteered to sit and have her photo done. And what she's going to do and she's, we have two pad plates here, and she's going to place her hands down on the plates. They're silver pads, and what they do is they are picking, she is acting as a transmitter, and they are receivers. And so she is transmitting her energy, and our camera system, which has a little computer chip in it, is picking it up and receiving it, and then it's reproducing it onto the film surface. There is nothing tricky about this, as you'll see. We're going to—it's done with a Polaroid picture. So she's going to do this now. Your aura can change um, in your colors by things that you're wearing, or scents, or food that you eat, or thoughts. Because I've had mine changed by thoughts too. He does that to me all the time. And the purpose of what we're going to do now is Jug, who is my cameraman, and then my other partner, Jill, she also takes our pictures. He's draping you. The reason that we drape you is so that your clothing doesn't interfere with any colors that'll come on your body. And if you wear glasses, we always ask people to take their glasses off. I do want you to know that it's going to be a picture of your face, and sometimes people say, oh, I don't look pretty. Well, that's not the idea. So you tell her what you're going to do. Well, I'm going to align this thing here. It's got a little button or a little thing down here that you can look at. And I'm going to put it right on your forehead. 
And I'm going to ask you to smile real pretty because we know that we want everybody to look at something pretty. And uh, <laughs> hold that pose. Now, when he's taking the picture, the interesting thing is we actually see some of the colors that are in the camera when they're transmitting. We can see some of the colors in the camera lens, which is really interesting because, you know, we're able to see them. We can look at them and say, oh, I can see you're going to have some red or some yellow mm -hmm. around you. What um, Sue is getting with her aura picture, she is getting a computerized printout. Now, the computerized printout is a very, very basic interpretation of the colors. Mm -hmm. And all it's doing is giving you a brief explanation of the colors that are closest to your body. Mm -hmm. Anything else that's on the outer perimeters, the computer doesn't pick that up. That's what I do, as I tell you what you, that is. And yeah, I that's, interpret it. That's right. And when we get all organized over there, I think I'm going to ask... Um, to have to remove the mic uh, jug, uh, I'm going to ask Sue to come up here in a minute. So, so just let me let me thank you from over here. Take um, this. If you, uh, just just a minute. I I just wanted to have the fence uh, say goodbye to Jug for helping us. Thank you and wave. Say bye. There you go. It's got bye. a little dark, it's a little dark <laughs> in that corner there. Thank you. And so we're going to trade places now. And Sue is going to come up here in his place. So we can go ahead and... Um, Thank you. I feel like I'm dragging a little tail. Are you? <laughs> yeah. But I'm being very careful. It didn't, and we brought the picture with us, did we? Yes, yes. I have the picture. Okay. And I have her little printout. Okay, now maybe you want to sit here for a minute. Me? Sit, yeah, you, you, you sit right there. Okay, and have and Sue you come, come over here, here Sue. And uh, let, let me. You sitting on the mic? I need the mic. You sitting on the mic? Okay, you sit right here, and then you sit right here for right now. Okay. And then when we get all organized, this is my friend Sue. Um, did you need your glasses? No, it's fine. Okay, wonderful. And is this going to take a while here before it develops? Am I well, correct? It's, well, it does. I'm going to I'm going to give you a couple of things, Sue. This is normally what I do at my booth. Is I give you a card, which is this is our card about aura <coughs> photography. Okay. <coughs> and then this is my card because Jill and I do this together, and we're we're just going to have to make cards for the two of us. I'm also going to give you one of my flyers, which is about Heart Vision, our company, and okay. then. Because I do your interpretation so quickly for you, and today you'll actually get a very nice one. Most mm -hmm. of the time there are two or three minutes, which is mm -hmm. long. This is a chart that um, has brief one-word um, descriptions of the colors, and there's a whole mm -hmm. bunch of them. The reason I'm giving you that is because as you look at that later, after you leave today, mm -hmm. you, you won't remember everything I've said to you right now. But when you look at this later, you'll key into some of those words and you'll say, oh, that is what she mm -hmm. said. So that's for your remembrance because the computerized printout that comes with it really um, does not have very much information. But in computer technology, everybody likes computer things, don't they? Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you something about your picture. The surface of the film is wet for about a half an hour, so you want to be very careful that you don't touch it and put your fingers on it because you can actually damage it. It also will continue to develop further mm -hmm. in the next half hour. And Sue, so what I see about yours is you have an intense amount of red. Um, now, I'm going to give this to you, Lillian. Yeah, so I think we go mm -hmm. to camera three. Let's do that. And what I'm going to mm -hmm. do is I'm going to put it in a folder for you so you can save mm. this so it'll look really nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to tell you also, don't close your folder on your picture. Mm -hmm. I'll oops, give it to oh, Lillian. Oh, yeah, oh, it'll get sticky. Okay, yes. uh, Cliff, would you like it over here? And... Um, would, I'm going to tell you about your picture. Can, can you see it? Oh, perfectly. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see fine. 
um, what I notice about it and my sense about this here is I, I would suspect that you are feeling a little tired today. You're not at your highest energy level mm -hmm. because you're not expanded all around you. So you're not at your highest. It's not a low point for you, but you're not at your very highest energy level. You've also been experiencing some... Can we take a little break here for a minute? Sure. We have an... Um, Cliff got all excited about his reading, his stopping, so... <laughs> oh. But he's a key person, though. Hook in on Yes, he, he needs to look at the picture with us. So we need to us. let him cough here for a minute. You see what I mean? I do. But didn't you say something about a little congestion that he had? Yes, I did. I see? said that he had congestion. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it was right there in his throat. Right there in his throat, mm -hmm. and see, that's instant um, Well, and that's what a lot there. of, of naturopaths and medicinal mm -hmm. people have been finding mm -hmm. a very positive use for aura camera or aura mm -hmm. imaging. They use it to diagnose. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much credibility <coughs> the medical profession puts upon it, but in holistic healing, mm -hmm. they put a lot, and so... I find it to be very valuable. My mother, when she met Jill, my partner, who was my mother's partner and I inherited with her, she um, did a reading for Jill and looked at her picture and said, you better go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm. Jill had a tumor. She was hours away. My mother saw this big growth in her aura. And um, she oh. went to the doctor and they did surgery within mm -hmm. hours after that. Mm -hmm. And there's been lots of instances like that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now we, we're on her we up now, yeah. So I'm okay. going to come down so you can see the okay. top of it. Oh, look like she got wings. Yes, well, <laughs> it sort of looks like that, too. Wow. I, mean, I always, I will, because you don't have lots of different colors, I'm going to explain yeah. all the different aspects of it. And as I said, okay. it looks like you're a little more on your tired side. But mm -hmm. I see... You have this intense red right here in your throat area. Mm -hmm. Now, I could say that you've been experiencing a cold, and that could be true. But what I feel, because I'm tuning into this, is that you've been experiencing in the last couple of weeks some frustration or some tension in an mm -hmm. emotional issue, and you have been working on letting go of this. So there's been some concerns that you've been having that um, been causing you a little bit of emotional grief. and. And I, I just feel that spirit's telling me that, and it's in your mm -hmm. throat area. Um, it does look like you have wings. Um, you have probably been having a little bit of shoulder pain over here mm -hmm. in the back and the shoulder. When I see the red and the, uh, because we're not taking a picture of your back, I can't see that. So when I see it on the body, that's why I say it could mm -hmm. be back there. But I definitely know you've been having something that you're mm -hmm. learning to let go of. Now, you see this intense uh, red? Okay, hang on till mm -hmm. the picture's up. Okay. The okay. intense red that looks like the biggest wing over mm -hmm. here, this tells me something about your personality. You're a okay. person who has a lot of physical vitality. Mm -hmm. You know, you are a go-getter. You're very passionate about mm -hmm. life, but you're secretive. You don't always let people know. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So she likes to keep things hidden, but mm -hmm. when she falls in love, she's there, and she's probably a wonderful lover. You know, if I can, I'm not getting TMI, but I see a very passionate person here. I also see little red dots over here on the side, and this shows me that you have some very forceful emphatic guides around you. It's almost like I feel like you're being bombarded or hit recently with a bunch of information of different areas or things for you to do and you have been trying to make a decision about what to do you haven't been knowing where to go what to choose um, you see the big dark area right above your head where you don't have a lot of color showing up right there um, hang on just a minute let's get that picture back up here while she's explaining it <laughs> so when you see the big dark area right mm -hmm. above the top of your head, what mm -hmm. that shows to me right there. Okay, can you see it now? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, dark now. Area. That mm -hmm. shows to me that you're open right now. You're, you've been doing some personal growth, mm -hmm. you know, for self-discovery. So you've been opening your crown center, mm -hmm. and you've been asking for more guidance and direction. Mm -hmm. And that's about, you, you actually got a very lovely little reading, because I 
do not, when we are at the fairs, mm -hmm. we cannot do them this long yeah. because there's so many people. Now, I invite you to take the paper and you can refer back to that and you'll remember a lot of the mm -hmm. things I said. Yeah, and, and that's how we do that. Yeah, incredible boy, mm -hmm. she, she was. And good. Lillian has a wonderful memory, so if I don't remember, I'll just call Lillian up after midnight and ask her. Oh, you can <laughs> watch the to. video. Yeah, I, I, watch the I video. don't close that but on that, that. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. I'll, I'll uh -huh. pull it out of that third brain we seem that's to have right. sometimes. That's right. and, um, <laughs> and, and then here, while we, while we have that here, this is uh, um, the explanations of the colors here. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Maybe you could touch on all the colors real quick. Well, I can say really quick. Quick? Quick. Red often is passion, love, force of will, vitality. Some people think that it's negative. Mm -hmm. It's frustration. Um, it can also be discomfort or mm -hmm. pain. White, very definitely. High spiritually motivated, purity, um, love of truth, um, making choices, awakening. Mm -hmm. Uh, yellow, spontaneity, enthusiasm, bright and cheery. Mm -hmm. um, can't sit still. High mental activity. Likes lots of social activity. Mm -hmm. Likes to be outdoors. Um, computers, logic. Mm -hmm. Green, healing. Um, blue is peaceful. I mean, I could go on and on and on. But there's, I don't know how much time I can really spend. We I say purple I don't is, know how much more yeah. time we have anyway, but, but I think general, in generally speaking, we kind of get the idea. Now I have a personal question for mm -hmm. you. Uh, your uniform or, or your, your way of dressing when you do that is red. Why did you choose red? Well, actually, <clears throat> this is a new concept that I came up with. Um, and today I'm wearing red because one, red is my most vibrant color. Mm -hmm. But we want our booth to stand out and for me people to notice us so because I'm a clothing designer as well red is not the only color but when we work in the booth we decide on that day this mm -hmm. is what everybody's working in the booth is so we're wearing red but I have um, orange shirts for us we always wear it with black so mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. Royal blue, we have green, we have orange. I have to take into consideration the colors that mm -hmm. my other partners won't wear. I can wear all the spring colors. But we use the colors because of the vibrancy. Okay. A few years ago, some of the friends know that um, I produced um, some records. And when we, decide the, when we designed the record, I mean the album covers, we made them hot pink and lime green. and. For that reason, I know that sometimes colors address your taste buds. They do. Also, they do. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to buy it, you want to eat it. <laughs> so that's a very good business decision you make there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want people to be aware of us, and so we're redesigning our booth. Mm -hmm. And I decided that it was a good idea for us all working in the booth to have uniformity, mm -hmm. and so we all have the colors. Plus, we're about color. Mm -hmm. You know, so I want us to be mm -hmm. color. We show color, you're attracted to color. You know, and um, there's lots of people who even do color therapy, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Sue, since we got you here some kind of way, um, how's it going with you? Things fine? It's absolutely perfect. I couldn't believe how right on she was about the reading. It is absolutely <laughs> perfect. The, um, there's been a lot of decision making in the jobs that I have, and, and um, it came right out. It came mm -hmm. out in the colors. So it did, like, yeah, but, but I saw you, you was meditating or something. It's I like, was doing Reiki. <laughs> Reiki. <laughs> see, yes. Yeah, see, I, I know, so she probably sat there and says, let me sit here and confuse her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you can't, you, yeah. you saw earlier when I took my picture earlier mm -hmm. this morning, and um, you, one of, I think it was you, Lillian, said, don't tell her to think anything. But I've had experiences where I've sat down and I've become very centered. Mm -hmm. And my colors will, will have a big transformation. Mm -hmm. Now, um, last summer we did a show in Yahats, Oregon. And I was, I'm trying to remember, was I all blue? I think I was all blue in the morning. Mm -hmm. Which is very peaceful, loving, mm -hmm. accepting. Um, Generally, I have a lot of reds and yellows. Mm -hmm. And then this, that, uh, later that afternoon, there was this booth there. It was incredible. This guy had these 
bells, light bulbs, that's what they were, and they were filled with Oregon rainwater. And he'd made this pyramid-shaped booth, and I walked under it, and I was so vitalized. Well, I took my picture after that, and I was yellow off the picture, off mm -hmm. the picture. Now you can't, and which is a good example to show you of a before and after. We've had counselors and Reiki people come in who've had before Reiki and after, mm -hmm. and you can see a difference in their energy levels. Mm -hmm. Now you didn't take this, this came no, from a different camera, mm -hmm. but, um, but the thing is here, uh, like I was telling you, I had a before and after here, mm -hmm. and let's see, I want, actually I want this one and that one. This one here was taken, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. This one was taken right after I came out of, um, it, can, I, can I have this one here? Uh, yeah, right, this one. Now this one was taken right after I came out of a lecture. And you see how it's all over the place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then with an hour I had centered myself, now I'm gonna go to this one here. And that's what it looked like an hour later. Mm -hmm. Now you notice, though, in both of the auras, you still have a lot of the same colors. You still right. have those mm -hmm. pinks mm -hmm. and those shades of the the red and the mm -hmm. violet, which also tells me, gosh, Lillian, are you intuitive? <laughs> are you psychic? Because purple is most definitely mm -hmm. intuitive abilities. Yeah. And, and I think that you probably, your energy in the lecture, you'd probably been so scattered and diffused that's from all right. of those vibrations I was everywhere. Uh -huh. Yes, and so that's mm -hmm. why I like to. That's why yes. I wanted to use that because mm -hmm. it first he thought someone showed the camera, mm -hmm. and he said, "Well, how come you like that?" And I said, "I just came out of a lecture, and which sort of you know I had to pull from." You had to but get centered. Every, yeah, and I was mm -hmm. out there. <laughs> that's what you look like when you're out there. You're just oh, yes. all over the place, and I can prove it. <coughs> How's that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I usually, if, I'm, if I know I'm not feeling well, or mm -hmm. I usually won't do a picture. But then I do on occasion. Now, we've had phenomenal pictures that we've done. We've had, we do children. Mm -hmm. People love mm -hmm. to have children taken. We did plants, animals. Everybody wants to take a picture of their aura. Right, animal. let me cut in on you. We have, uh, we have uh, one on, on our background tape of a dog. It's a seeing eye dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Somewhere out there is a picture of this dog, mm -hmm. and it is so incredible. Where yes. he, he, it's almost like he has. If if that's the right one, the same one I remember, it's almost like he's three in one. Like he has to do. He does. Three, he has three colors. Three around colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like he's three in one. Yes, he's very empathic. Mm -hmm. As a seeing eye dog, mm -hmm. you'd have to be. He's very empathic, so you can see that there are shades of blue around him. Mm -hmm. And then there are also, some, if, if I'm remembering it correctly, I think there's some shades of red because he has a lot of strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also there's that vitality. Um, and I'm not quite sure I'm remembering the other color. I, I think we it was green. We have him somewhere on film yeah. here, so I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll see him. I, I'm sure Bernie's going to find mm -hmm. the dog. Did you have a dog? Mm -hmm. You didn't yeah, have it, a dog? It on says seeing eye dog. dog. It's the ones we did earlier. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. We don't That's have okay. a CNI dog for you, but I remember him so mm -hmm. distinctly. I thought he was on that collage that he had brought us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought he was too. Yeah. And you know, another thing I want to point out to your viewers, we also do doubles. Right. Um, and I've recently started a new practice in our business. I will still do double pictures for people, but I'm no longer going to give them a reading or interpret mm -hmm. them. Because what happens when two people, is you notice you put your hands here. Well, one couple puts their hand, or one party puts their hand here and the other party puts theirs. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is your energy is diffusing and it's going back and forth among each other. Mm -hmm. And it's not always real clear to interpret it. So you're picking up and hitting and missing. Missing, with both. yeah, and mm -hmm. picking up the other person. Right. Um, so we we still do doubles for people, but we're you know we're not going to interpret them. We do children, mm -hmm. plants, animals. We had a woman who did a ferret. Yeah, it rocks. No, we and, yes, and crystals. Crystals, yeah, rocks. Yes, we, we, do we, crystals. we have friends that that is 
you know, these were attached to rocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Monica Vinesmith, she's a rock person. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, everything has energy. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. Yes, everything has energy. Mm -hmm. So it's all transmitted and it's all received, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which is um, real interesting mm -hmm. to do. So, yeah, so overall, your recommendation is? Um, and about doing auras? Uh, well, we've taken everybody on a psychic fair before. Okay. And and I and lots of times, you know, like you say, when we hear things and we don't really absorb, uh, it doesn't mm -hmm. stay with us. It's wonderful when we can walk away with something that's permanent, something tangible. Can, that's the mm -hmm. word. Thank yes. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's why we do so well. Is people like something mm -hmm. tangible. Mm -hmm. They can put to. it in their hand. Mm -hmm. They can hold it. Would you it. hand me that, please? This? Yes, thank you. So they can hold it's something tangible. Mm -hmm. They can hold it in their hand. Mm -hmm. They have a personal experience of the actual mm -hmm. reading. Mm -hmm. Then they have the printed sheet about it. And they feel good about it. And besides, people put the, they save them, they collect them, they come back year mm -hmm. after year to the same place. Yeah, because you, know, you can see the difference. They can see the difference. Your personal growth mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. Now, yeah. you as you in the medical field, how do you think? How long before do you think mainstream medicine would incorporate something like that? Well, I've been in the nursing field for 30 years, and it'll mm -hmm. probably take another 30 before mm -hmm. they really get into it. I think there are some physicians out there mm -hmm. um, that are be that are very intuitive, mm -hmm. and I think they're starting right now. The mainstream will take another probably mm -hmm. another 30 years, but I think that there's individuals out there that are noticing th the results and and noticing mm -hmm. that they can actually give um, more accurate care. And I think that the standards of care will change, but it moves very slowly in the in the medical field. I agree. Things, it took it a moves long time slowly. for chiropractic to be accepted. Yeah, no, but look at it from the other um, point of view. I, you know, this is would be cost cost. What do you call that? Effective. Um, cost effective. I right. mean, you take a picture and boom. Right. And if you don't know what it is, call a psychic. We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, okay. yeah, you know, because do. lots of times mm -hmm. people don't have insurance and you know and we just look and say well tell the doctor to look at such and such. Well we had a, re a, a, a Jill and my mother had a, a real interesting experience several years back. Lots of people, lots of women, when they're pregnant, they want to take mm -hmm. a picture of their tummy. I mean, yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to take a picture of my tummy. And I could see that energy there, which mm -hmm. is neat. Mm -hmm. And they, we have a wonderful picture, and I know it's on the group that we showed you, of a pregnant mommy. Mm -hmm. And we have this beautiful picture of her, and there's this blue energy right here on her tummy. Mm -hmm. And right below it is this intense red energy with this line of red going right underneath it. Umbilical cord. And Exactly. And my mother read her picture and she said, you know, are you having twins? And she said, yes, I am. And she said, well, I think you need to go to the doctor and have your, you need to have an ultrasound or have something done mm -hmm. because your other, one of your babies is having fetal distress. Right. And she said, well, she hadn't been feeling very well. She went to the doctor and they'd done this um, ultrasound. Now, I don't know if they were able to determine it by the ultrasound or if it had taken place after the baby was born. She had a little boy and a little girl. Mm -hmm. But the little girl had the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck three times, and her energy and her nutrition was being depleted. Yeah. What was interesting is on the aura picture, you could also see this green that kept shooting to the red. Mm -hmm. So there was green healing energy from this higher source that kept still giving that baby wow. what it needed. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a great story, but it did, yeah. you know, it went impress on the friends. Those are the things that psychics can do. Mm -hmm. Other, mm -hmm. We do a lot more than 900 numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do 900 mm -hmm. numbers. <laughs> uh, you, you know, but that's yes, how that's it came true. to America. That's mm -hmm. how people started to associate with. Mm -hmm. And all we um, can do is be a guide or a source of mm -hmm. direction. It's then mm -hmm. up to the other person to make that determination mm -hmm. what they're going to do. And I tell yeah. people that, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. 
um, you have to choose what it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. People need to go to their physicians and actually tell them what they know or what they've heard and be mm -hmm. really upfront and honest with them. And that will get change to come around much quicker right. too because physicians want to be, they want to have the right answers and they want to be on top. And, and as long as people will go to them and be honest with them, mm -hmm. what they think and what they know, I think, think physicians will come around. And too. Well, we're real fortunate in the Olympia, Washington area because we have mm -hmm. doctors that, um, that treat us frequency people. They know what to right. do when <laughs> 10 balls hit you in the face. <laughs> you know, and, um, we're talking about these healing balls here, so we've been really, really fortunate. Mm -hmm. And then we're grateful for people like you for having, mm -hmm. you know, learned all this stuff. I just and consider it, it mm -hmm. so natural. and. I, I have to tell you, Lily, and I have to share this with you, and both my partners, Jill and Jug, know this. I was so nervous, not about talking about the auras, about talking about me. Mm -hmm. This, this to me, I grew up with this. Mm -hmm. I know this. Mm -hmm. It's like second skin. I'm very comfortable with it, and, and my experience with it is very comfortable. It's talking about my personal life and about who I am that would have me on the edge of my seat for yes, a week. Yes, and you had a whole week in between. I so know. You know how it works. <laughs> and, you know, we had fun. Um, thank you for coming. We had fun. Um, Jug? Jug. Um, thank you very much. He's in the audience. Uh, we'll come visit us again. And I'd like Jill? to thank, thank Jill, Jill, my other partner. She oh. owns our camera. Okay, and I got to go. So mm -hmm. thank you, Jill. Sue, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank You're you. Welcome, and Lillian. I'll come see you next week. And we have another fine visit with a new person. Bye.